All right, in Cleveland's camp, we've got Sandy Alomar Jr. here, and uh, Sandy, you're in charge of the catchers. So today, early in spring training, what's the run of the show today for your catchers? We, we work in the first couple of days, we work with mobility. Today, we're gonna go to the secondary position. Yesterday, we did primary. Gotcha. But today, we, uh, we go to the secondary, and keep growing like that. And, and this is not like the yesteryear of spring training where we came into spring training to get ready to play opening day. These boys coming in are pretty ready right now. Correct. Most of these guys are very eager to throw the ball, throw to the bases, but you have to make, make sure the lower half is ready. That way, the, when you throw, you're more accurate and, you, and your feet are ready and you'll be able to shuffle and stuff like that. You talked a little bit about primary position secondary position correct give me secondary position is probably the two strike count men on base is that no, right or? anytime no. there's a guy on base anytime okay. there's a guy on base you gotta be ready to to throw that baseball be able to, to block it you know obviously receiving you know we we prioritize receiving too but the main thing about receiving to me is that it's not loose strikes you gotta protect the white part of the play that's that's the main thing that home play that's your area if you get extra strikes out of the play, then uh, that's gravy. But you just gotta protect the white. Okay, you got a couple guys in camp that uh, look like you're gonna be doing most of the catching for your squad this year. Roberto Perez, give me your overall thoughts. What are we gonna see out of him this year? He has a lot of mobility in the lower half. He's the most efficient catching stand that I have worked with. There are guys, by doing this, we can assess who can, in a primary position, can block, stay under the ball, and throw. He can do that. See how the, the rear end is kind of like 90 degrees? Yes. If your rear end is too low, what's, what's gonna happen, depending how you have your feet angle, you have your feet angle very good, that's perfect. What happens is your hips get locked and then you become top heavy. Right. So instead, uh, instead of, uh, of unlocking your hips, which is a little bit here, you can unlock your hip. Here they're locked, they're locked in one position. Right. You tend to reverse to receive the ball instead of swing. So rear end is going to be even. Yes, we, we, we strive for that. But we also, we also have to understand that not everybody's created equal and everybody has limitations. So Sandy Leon, when he was in the position, primary position, his left foot was in this direction. So what happened when you're in this direction, you put in, there's no, there's no balance. There's no balance. So you kind of like straighten him up a little bit and put him more, kind of roll a little bit, free his hips so he can do all this mobility. Here was another guy that used to have the left foot tuck, tuck the wrong direction. So now, the toe pointing in. Yes, yes. Now it's kind of... Yeah, he's more stable now. So what happens is, is that those ball when the pitches are over there, you're going to roll over your, over your hip. You're going to go like this. Now he has more control of his own, more control of his body. There, you see that? The Where the hips take the catcher, it's going to take the, everything. It'll take abs the abs ball. Absolutely. I think that uh, we're in agreement that blocking balls in the dirt and keeping guys on the base that they're on is probably one of the most important things we can do. This is very important. I, I think that uh, it creates a psychological effect to the pitcher that if you don't, if you're not able to block a pitch in a critical situation, then I mean he might hang the next one. So right. uh, we talk a lot about that, and also uh, we talk about a lot about distance. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about that. We like to our catchers to catch closer to the pitcher as they can. See how close he is to the batter. That's how he catches in the game. You eliminate a lot of balls in the dirt and the ball travel less. Right. If the ball travel less, you can cut it up before you So go. he's definitely feeling better about being up here. Up here but that also tells me he doesn't want to do this too much because he don't want the catchers to Absolutely, appearance. absolutely. Okay. You are right on it, so absolutely. So what happened is we got Sandy Long doing the same thing, getting close to the batter, okay? You're gonna, all those balls you get four, three inches, four, three inches that, that hit you in the heel of the glove, you catch those. Like if you are further back, what's going to happen, the ball is going to keep traveling and you're going to catch the end of, of the pitch. It might be out of the zone when the, when the ball really clips this quadrant. Receive, block balls, and throw. That's, that's, that's what you get out of your setup. In reality, it's very hard to do all three. I, I get that. But it, what happens if you could? Or if you do two out of the three good? Right. You know, not just one. I feel responsible to do the best that I can for the organization. Gracias.